Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. We are playing Alan Wake. Remedy's game from, I don't exactly know, the year, early 2000s or something. Uh, Xbox 360 title originally. Of course, Remedy this week has released Control. You can find my Control review over at ExplosionNetwork.com. Uh, I gave it an 8.5. I really liked it. And uh, for those reasons, and some others, we're going to start up a new game of Alan Wake. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I know what I you did last summer. Late. Well, I mean, he's standing in the middle of the road, so. Kind of got to cut the guy some slack. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. No. Now I'm good, thank you. Can I switch? Yeah, thank you. I was about to say, I would like to switch the side. The camera's on. Oh. Freaky dickies. Freaky dickies. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. So do I. What's this shiny thing down here? The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. But I got coffee for the trip, so everything will be perfectly fine. Rain Cove Point Lighthouse. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? Nope. Think you're God. You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? You're in this story now, and I'll make you suffer. Go away! The kid. What's this, Q What's this QR code it's going for? What's it do? Can we scan it? I've, I've never tried. Like, where's my phone? Start free trial? No, I just want to scan. Let me scan. Where does it take you? Oh, it's taking me somewhere. It's just, just, it's just the Alan Wake Facebook page. Well, that's somewhat disappointing, but anyway, I'm glad we tried. Who's this person? Can I zoom in? There's nowhere to look. Have you seen this man? This man being this fucking Aquaman wannabe over here. You cannot dodge. No, you can't dodge. Bam! Oh! Whoa! whoa, whoa. You can't stop me. Come at me, bro. Yes. 
cinematic moment. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Yeah. We gotta get going, Mr. Wake. Shit is fucking going off. Oh my god, why are you running out of cinema? Now's not the time. Come on! Dude! Get your run on, sir. Oh! Nope, that's not where I'm going. I'm coming, I'm coming. I kind of want to look backwards, but maybe I don't. That's fine. I do not remember, to be honest. Could use a bit of work. Could use a little bit of work. You know what I'm saying? No. Oh my fucking god. I had to get out. Yeah, well, can I go out the back door, maybe, bro? Okay. Maybe you should run. Jump? No? Nope. Oh. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Oh, okay. Got him. Heal me up good. What? You must go into the light. Oh, I didn't wait till I was fully healed. Okay, my bad. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. This game has like no build up. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Give me the number one weapon of all video games. The flashlight. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Is he? Here, take the gun. Really awkward because there's a light. A 
terrible darkness was taking over the world. There's also a light up the there. The house was the last safe place on Earth. I mean, you can't see it, but like there's a light on the, that. There was a light there, like above my head. But there's also, in reality, there's also a light above above my head. You know what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Anyway, it's not, that's not important. Okay, I'll stop. You made me this way, and now I'm Bam! Headshot. Boom, headshot. Get wrecked. Why does it keep... S oh, shit. I'm out of batteries? Are you fucking kidding me? How do I open this? Give me this thing. Yeah, give me all that. Cool. Do I even need to kill them? Like, really? Surely I don't. Because I'm happy to ignore them. To be completely honest. Just like well, I can't kill them all. Come on, pop the thing. Bam. Oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't want to use my flare, but whoopsie. Whoa, whoops, it did tons of damage though. I wish he's dropped something like ammo or something. That would be handful. See you, nerd. It says Alan Wake up there. Did we all see it? it? Says Alan Wake. Oh, we should probably run. Fucking hell! Alan, Alan, you're Alan, you're slowing down again. Fucking hell! Stamina of a stamina of a donkey. Something over here. Bloody hell, Alan! You heard of running, mate? Inside the church, the holy grounds. Okay. See ya. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Beautiful place to live and spend time. Bright falls. We've packed our belongings, our car. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. Yes, honey. Sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello there. Hello. A good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? 
Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. Uh, if you don't mind me saying, I I'm Pat Maid, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan What's Wake. Up? I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. You too, Mr. Radio Amy and Sir. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. Bam! I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Is that it? That's that's Alan, the way our conversation here. ends. <laughs> that was a weird, that was a weird like. Alan, we're here. <laughs> We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for- Mr. Wake, Alan, Wake. Oh God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. The funniest thing about I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. <laughs> I got the cut out from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. Oh, yes, very good. Oh, good. And to keep yeah. it here. Well, it's, it's, okay. Look at me. Look how good, good for I look. You. Yeah. Uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. I wasn't ready to leave. I needed to find Carl Stuckey coffee. to get the key Just to the cabin. Me when you fall in love. It'll break the, <laughs> the funniest thing to me is that the idea of all these people recognizing a book reader in these small towns. Yeah, I'm like, makes two of us. Yeah, today, no, it, it would have to be like a movie star or something, surely. I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. That's me. I'm the famous book writer. These days, it, <laughs> no, I, I, I find this hard to believe. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Okay. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have there gone come, to sleep. Fucking come down, bad, 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 I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. To the, dock. the waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Calm down, Mr. Popular. Bloody overeager fans. Hello? Hello, Mr. Stucky? Mr. Stucky? Are you Stucky? <laughs> Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. 
I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. Thank you, ma'am. It's fucking weird. I cool. insist. Did you just come from a funeral? Thanks. Okay. Stay away from me, thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to. Uh, crazy. The Everyone's in this town's crazy. Why is this suddenly closed? Already? Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> need to wake this dude up, eh? Splendid, splendid. <laughs> oh, Damn, Hernia. It's well Damn. Smack the shit out of that jukebox. Yeah. Splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. In the coconut. Take it down. Lime in the coconut. I wish. Now. Lime in the coconut. It's off the Reservoir Dogs soundtrack, I remember. That's what I know this song from. Reservoir Dogs. They're uh, local musicians. Uh -huh. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Yeah. Don't know what he just said. I was not paying attention to anything you just said, to be honest. <laughs> hey, honey. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights. That's good, because they're the weapons in this game. <laughs> What's that one? Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! You're... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. Or a We're video game. To be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Padman here on PBF Heaven. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And two years? Fucking George R. R. Martin's got nothing on you, dude. Zinga, Bazinga. Whatever Sheldon it's says. Dark out here, but Bazinga. Let's go investigate our new beautiful home, honey. Divers Island. It's gorgeous, Alan. You're gorgeous. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. Mm. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Let's do that then. Let's get going, Alan. It's fucking Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Everywhere. Bird Leg Cabin. Brilliant name. Oh, look at the... Let's just take a moment to... Take a moment to surrender to the... Serenity. <gasps> Wonderful. Here we yeah. go. Give me them Let's quick time events. Give me them Xbox 360, PS3, quick time area. Can you figure out how to get the power? Yeah, on, don't worry. Oh, what's this? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? Well, I hope there's no one here. It's going to be really awkward. The Deer Fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Oi! Let's, uh, go Leave me out of it. We ain't here for no deer fest. We're here for just a general old fashioned boots knocking holiday. You know what I'm saying? Wink. You all know what I'm saying? You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Look, there's a deer. Caught one. Bam. 
Oh. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Well, that was fucking loud and Damn. sudden. And what is this? I needed to get is that the diver in the cabin. From the picture, there had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Look. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. 70s, in fact. I mean, it's not earlier, but... Alright. Let's go find the generator, Mr. Wake. The power cable goes to that shed over there. Yeah, don't worry, I got it, 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 I got it. <laughs> don't worry, honey. Just enjoy the... Million and one bloody crows that are around the place. Jeez, the voice. Look, the An fucking hell. Had been connected to the power cable. Oops. What? What? Oh. Quick time, Avani. You hard out. Did him one time. The second time, did it first time. Took me a whole one second. Okay, I'll look around a bit. The island sure had once been the Come site on. for a love story. Maybe it would be that. Oh, awkward. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. At least for a moment. I thought we could be happy here. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Just a, just a general old scary hotel hanging out on top of a cliff there. I ain't saying it's doctor sleeps time, but that hotel sure looks like it's shining. Whoa. Turn to Alice. Is that fish? Is that talking Alice? fish? Do you talk fish? Honey? I already looked at that. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> hey, baby. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. Well, this is pointing. Okay. Oh. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn, Alice, you- Everyone- Hey, 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 just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. Oh, it's gonna he has a private death clinic stranding. here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not- Alan? That's, that's our freaky lady right there. Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <sighs> damn it. Stop yelling, let's go save her! The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's alright, I'm coming! No! Alice! Help me! <sighs> and... We'll save Alice on the next episode. Thank you for joining me for this first episode of Alan Wake. Um... Spookies. Scaries. Stephen King. Great fun. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed already, of course. Like the video down below and uh, check back for the second part.
Uh, in the future, of course, head on over to ExplosionNetwork.com for all our podcasts, reviews, news, articles, and much more stuff over there, including, as I mentioned before, the review of Control, which is out this week. This is going up. Um, originally, really great. Love it. Enjoying checking out Alan Wake. I should have quickly said at the start of the video, I forgot to completely mention, I did start the game years ago. I never actually finished it because my computer crashed and I couldn't be stuck restarting the game. So that's why I'm like... I, I got up to a little bit after this, but I don't really remember. So it's all basically fresh because it's been so long. So that's exciting. Um, I'll see you in the next one.